Professor V. Anjiraju did his master's degree in agriculture with agronomy as his specialization. Undergone long-term training programs in Oxford University, London, UK, and Habibi Academy of Sciences, China. He worked for Ideal Chemicals, Godavari Fertilizers, AP Oil Seeds Federation, Duncan's Group. He has done number of consultancy projects, including corporate plans, preparation and evaluation of projects of the Netherlands, Government of India, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Assam. He is the coordinator, student affairs, and coordinator, uh, and coordinating the co-curricular and extracurricular activities for the students of all courses. He teaches leadership development, marketing, entrepreneurship development, and project management at the institute. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected director, Professor R. K. Misra, Dean Srinivas Murthy, sir. My esteemed colleagues, respected parents, and dear students. In our institute, we give a lot of importance from, for the outside classroom learning. They are driven by students. They are student-driven activities. Whatever they learn in the class, they are practicing in these student-driven activities through which they can improve their soft skills like communication, negotiation, bargaining, getting things done, working on the logistics, these are the things which are involved in any kind of a management. This they can learn only through this kind of activities which they are doing on their own. We are only facilitators. We will guide them how to take up these activities. These activities we can say in two forms. One is co-curricular activities in which right from the beginning of the academic year you start competing on contemporary topics. For example, GST. What are the pros and cons of GST? What are the problems in the implementation? How it is going to help our Indian economy? On this kind of topics, you will be speaking, you will be competing with your own students, that is, intra-college competitions. Then, once you are familiar with this kind of a competitions, we encourage our students to go to other B schools and participate in the similar kind of competitions. Through which you are getting yourself exposed to the competitive world. In the beginning, you are competing with your own students in your own college. At the second level, you are going to other colleges and competing with the students of other B schools. That is the second stage. Then once you are good with all these things, you will go for our inter-college competitions conducted by our own students. That we call it as annual event. Our IPE, the annual event is Sanskriti, in which you are inviting students from all over India. You are communicating to them, inviting them to come and participate 
in different competitions which you are going to conduct we also communicate to them that what are the kind of attractive prizes cash prizes which you are going to distribute to them through which you can attract large number of participants and to sponsor that money you have to plan in a such a way so that you will mobilize money from corporate you have to identify the prospective sponsors you have to communicate to them you have to take their appointments you have to approach you have to talk to them you have to communicate to them you have to negotiate and convince them that your annual event is going to be useful to that corporate through website advertisements banners posters through which you are giving publicity for those companies which are going to sponsor for your annual event this is not that you are mobilizing a great money for something but the hidden objective is that you have to learn how to get the things done once you are ready with the sponsorships another big challenge is you have to get the reputed industrial leader who can come here who can communicate to you who can tell you what is the industry is expecting from you this is how inter college competitions are also conducted for the intra college competitions we call it as a samiti when you participate in competitions our director and dean they have given the last hour for these student driven activities after completion of your competitions in respective functional areas for example marketing once you are coming to the final stage of the competitions in the beginning maybe 200 300 students participate but at different level screening takes place once you come to the final stage again you invite corporate leaders of that particular functional area they will come here and they will be distributing prizes to the winners and runners they will share their experiences their knowledge their wisdom with our students this is how this co curricular activities are a continuous activities in our institute through which there is a lot of learning takes place for the students for you on the basis of your interest you have taken different courses but for the institute all are equal there is no differentiation for every activity there is a proper representation from different courses and coming to the extra curricular activities we have so many extra curricular activities we start with the freshers your seniors will be welcoming you then we have social activities blood donation clean and green plantations collecting of some commodities and giving to the giving to orphans here in shamirpet providing them some cloth some kind of lunch or some whatever the support is possible that is extended to them then there is, there is an there are some activities like ethnic day we have then anyhow this uh, your farewell will also be there you will be giving to the seniors and also we take lot of 
interest in our celebration of national festivals like independence day and republic day this is how you are involved in extracurricular activities in addition to this you are also encouraged to participate in sports we do have a formal kind of a sports days of 2 3 days and again for this also we see that the winners and runners will get a token of recognition these are the some kind of a extra curricular activities then coming to the other one you have to invite your seniors uh, for the alumni meet you have to organize some kind of a cultural activities and that is a platform for you to interact with the seniors and to learn from them these are the some of the student driven activities everything will be done by you maybe this year your seniors will take lead you are participating in all these student driven activities then what is the form of organizing these student activities we form clubs clubs for different activities marketing club hr club finance operations like these clubs are there and once your seniors will come some of them will take lead in that in different clubs you will be member in those clubs and these clubs sometimes they bring some dignitaries somebody who is not in academics maybe from the film industry or the somebody sports like this we keep doing all these activities and every month you will be having one activity or other through which you will not be monotonous with the only academic kind of a activity these students driven activities in addition to that what you you can always do is that wherever you have contacts we can also tell us to bring some guests from the industry of course we are bringing on our own but sometimes what happens some students they have their contacts through that also we are bringing and arranging lectures and another important aspect I, which i would like to tell you is discipline and i assure to all parents that you need not worry about any ragging in this institute because we never had any kind of that incident in our institute we have anti ragging committee we have a grievance committee we have the disciplinary committee the committee members list is also displayed in website and also i'll be circulating to you all whenever you have some kind of a problem you can always approach to those members and we are there to help you in summary these are the activities and once you start your classes we keep interacting and whatever other activities are there we'll keep discussing with you i would like to hear tell to all parents and students only two aspects one is for the parents because i take the liberty of my age to suggest one thing and two suggestions for the students the first suggestion to the parents is that each each and every human being is unique please don't compare our children with others don't tell them that that boy got 80% marks and why you have not got that cannot happen can you see the same face anywhere no each one is unique they have their own capabilities our duty is to identify their capabilities and encourage them that is how you have to look at your children that is very important 
and for the students you see parents are they are the representatives of almighty and you have to listen to them because they are experienced they have already gone through the life and for achieving what you want there are so many things we keep on preaching but i don't preach many things i will tell you only two only two they make lot of difference one is character if you lose money you can make money no problem if you lose health okay there is some damage but still you can recover but if you lose your character no way you can recover character is very important when vivekananda went to chicago in 1893 after this parliament of religion he started moving in a small street some mischievous boy he started following him started pulling his turban headgear then he start maybe by mistake he has pulled he has moved little ahead then again he pulled his turban then vivekananda stopped and looked at that boy maybe you have heard some of you of this one still let me tell you again then vivekananda stopped asked that boy why are you pulling my headgear then he started laughing then he said why why are you laughing then he, he said your dress is so peculiar that's why i started feeling of teasing you then he said then what should i do vivekananda said this is my traditional dress what is that i should do now he said the mischievous boy told him you see in our country gentlemen they are always in tie suit then what vivekananda told he, that boy you know okay in your country tailor makes the gentleman but in my country character makes gentleman this is how the character is very important don't leave your principles don't leave your values this is not for somebody this is for your own consciousness this is only for your consciousness when you are satisfying your consciousness there is lot of happiness in you there is a lot of happiness that is one i would like to give suggestion and the second one you should have the focus 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 why Ar arjuna has become so popular why he could hit the eye of a bird in a on a tree because he has that focus he was not bothered to see what is there in and around he was concentrating only on the bird's eye so whatever you want to achieve keep that one in your mind don't deviate from that that is very important for that you should have burning desire to have that focus what is that you require burning desire what is the desire and what is the difference between burning desire and desire anyone can tell what is desire suppose this boy's father is coming from delhi and he calls this boy saying beta my kal aa raha hu morning 7 o'clock so can you kindly come to the airport and pick me up this boy has a desire to go to the airport and bring his father that is the desire but the next day morning what happens he keeps alarm he gets up at 5 o'clock but he feels you see it is too early another 2 hours time is there let me sleep for some more time 
he goes into sleep but father comes on his own that is desire then what is burning desire i will tell you another example parents please don't mistake me because only through this they can understand better that's why i am telling this boy suppose his girlfriend calls from delhi and tells him tells him that tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock i am coming from delhi can you come and pick me up then he has burning desire he will go to the airport at 3 o'clock early morning 3 o'clock he will reach there to bring his girlfriend that is the burning desire so i expect all my students to have that burning desire not to bring girlfriends but to study well okay through which i am sure you will achieve whatever you want god bless you welcome to ip thank you thank you sir i would now invite dr mln rao the controller of examination to brief about ex uh, the examinations at ip Dr. Emilian Rao is an MSc, MBA, PhD in management. He has over 21 years of experience in research and training. He is currently heading the examination division as controller of examination, and his areas of interest are marketing, uh, marketing strategy, intellectual property rights, public enterprise, just to name a few. And he has uh, co-authored two books. We welcome you, sir. Thank you, Prarthana. Good evening. respected director professor r k mishra ji dean srinivas murthy garu and other esteemed colleagues on the dais and respected parents and my dear students from morning onwards you are hearing the lecture after lecture just like your classroom lectures what happens after lectures are over in a classroom there will be an examination whether you acquire the required knowledge to be certified or to be qualified to possess the certificate that you have completed that particular program similarly now i am going to talk about what the examination system in ipe is all about in our evaluation process we have two major components one is internal evaluation another is end term evaluation in both the cases there are another two <coughs> components in internal evaluation you will have a continuous classroom evaluation to be conducted by the faculty concerned wherein your active participation in the class will also be considered to award some marks or there may be a announced or announced quizzes or tests or slip tests in the classroom or your faculty may <coughs> give an assignment to write an essay on the current issue related to your particular business activity or it may be a case study with reference to a particular uh, form or a forms functional activity like that there will be a continuous classroom evaluation as mandated by the aicte and also the association of indian universities we need to you need to write in a mid term examination that will be and table will be announced by the dean most probably in the regular classroom in order to have a mid course correction as far as understanding of that particular course in that particular trimester in that particular program and at the end of the trimester you will have a end term examination this is the second major component of the examination system here the end term examination will be conducted by the coe office your question papers will be set by the external examiners not the faculty who was <coughs> explain that particular subject to you 
and it will be evaluated by the faculty consent and also the external examination examiner the average of the two will be considered as your marks and the weightage for the each credit will be 20 marks and depending upon the weightage for a particular subject in a particular trimester it may be a five credit program or a three credit subject or a two credit subject the pass mark is totally different from what you have observed or what you have gone through so far the pass mark for each trimester is 60 percent aggregate 60 percent and each student should score at least minimum of 50 percent marks in internal as well as the interim examinations it is must so if somebody scores 60 percent they are just pass score the first class will be above 65 percent students and the first class distinction will be awarded to the students who have the 75 without any backlogs at any point of time i hope that we firmly believe that no student joined ipa to fail in any of the subjects but the pass is not automatic you have to earn the pass marks and i want to advise i want to give you a small advice here please come out of the current situation how you have prepared for your examinations in your graduation i know the 95 percent of you have studied a week before the examinations that approach will not work for a management school for that matter any postgraduate program you have to prepare yourself on a given topic try to understand what this particular concept is all about and try to relate the way in which you would like to as in the morning one of our course coordinator explained you that if you perceive your own idea if you able to <coughs> present your idea properly that will be considered as your understanding of the subject you will score good marks but don't write the pages 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 that will not give you any marks at all even sometimes i face the students sir i have taken the three additional seats in addition to the 16 pages regular answer book but my scores are just 10 percent it is not the content not in the but we will look at the quality that is important please keep back of your mind and prepare for the examinations from the day one onwards don't try to allocate the exclusive time for the examination preparation your preparation of the subject should be completed in the same day or in the same week then only you will have a better career that is possible if you have a proper plan in place as advocated by the professor Meenan in the morning every student should have a written plan in place what for they are investing their two years of precious time at this age and substantially good amount of financial resources if you have a plan in place getting the distinction should not be a problem of course i need to tell about what the rules are about although i may not like to have that kind of situation every student should get at least 50 percent of the credits at the end of the tr third trimester that means the last exam last term examination in the first year to get promoted to the second year that is the fourth trimester 
and the students who are not having 75% of attendance in the classroom although it is rule say 75% attendance but i want to see my students spend more than 100% attendance how you score the more than 100% attendance just don't depend only on the classroom discussions you need to spend more time with the faculty concerned in order to enhance your understanding of a given concept you need to spend more time in the library going through the different presentations on a given concept by the different authors so that's how you need to study and there should not be any disciplinary proceedings pending against the students what is the discipline has been explained by the professor anjirozo just now and also they should clear all the fees as as per the dates given by the dean for the payment of the fees and uh, the most unimportant aspect which i don't like but it is mandate again if anybody indulges any kind of mal practices in the examinations the punishment will be severe i don't want to explain about in detail about that anyhow you are going to receive the entire evaluation system runs into six pages from the dean in a couple of days from now and there will not be backlog examinations all the time if at all there is any backlog examinations for any students that will be held only in the month of april after completion of your third or the sixth term examinations this is all about the examination policy and i am sure that many of you have several doubts most probably in the second week i will be available for the students to clarify if you have any doubts about the examination system and i wish you all the best and i expect from you that you will give me an a pleasure of signing a certificate with the distinction on your score cards wish you all the best thank you very much thank you so much sir may we now request professor s smoothi chairman placements dr m m karuna coordinator placements dr s vivek and mr mahesh joint coordinators and ms cr kavita placement secretary to take the center stage and i praise the audience of its accomplishments in the recent past and its readiness for the future batches i'm sure by now you know our dean dr ss murthy who also know um, dr karuna i would want to introduce you to the other two parts of our placement division our joint coordinators dr s vivek um he's been with ip for the past 7 years he's done his uh, phd in hr from mewar university rajasthan and he's widely published in national and international journals and mr mahesh is has around 10 years of industry and academic experience has been working with ip and specializing in marketing and retail he has uh, many articles of publication and repute and we have been a part of our ip placement team since the inception respected director esteemed faculty colleagues parents and student friends i am srinivas murthy chairman placements my team dr karuna she is the coordinator for placements and professor vivek joint coordinator placements and professor mahesh joint coordinator placements and we have kavita placement secretary and we have shri mantha saab there vice chairman placements uh, recently our director has uh, reconstituted the placement division considering the fact that we have to place 395 students 
the outgoing the students the students are going to come to the second year they are 395 last year we have 96 placements 96% placements and uh, few of them are not applying they are not very keen on joining jobs either they would like to join family business or uh, they have other avenues otherwise we have completed more or less the placement process the outgoing batch highest salary was 9.2 lakhs average is 5.28 lakhs and minimum is 3.5 we will not allow any company to offer less than 3.5 we negotiate and do that and coming to the students who opt for these specializations mostly marketing is the most sought after specialization majority of the students they go for marketing followed by finance and then operations hr and systems and the recent year about 80 companies have visited and uh, they have given four or five profiles the same company like deloitte are uh, taken about 28 students offering profiles in the area of finance marketing hr so is the case with the tcs icsa bank taken about 10 so we concentrate on bulk placements at least uh, we see that 8 to 10 companies take away at least 100 students so we maintain very good relationship with the industry and uh, our students are also doing very well in the industry and uh, we have uh, very good feedback about our students working in this industry and when there is any vacancy industries are also asking about our own student joining back whenever there is a new company floated by this established recruiters they make it a point that they approach ipe first so we tell our students also when they are placed we tell them that you should work at least for one year in a company without working for one year you will not count that experience as well if you leave the company after 6 months that experience will not be counted moreover if you work for one year you can actually prove yourself what are your strengths weaknesses you can bring out the best and we also tell the students your your first company your best company many companies will be coming students will be also having ambiguity which sector to go either banking sector it sector manufacturing we counsel them mentor along with the placement division we closely uh, counsel them and we help them in choosing the right career and uh, this this year also the placement brochure is ready and we will be sending uh, our placement brochures to about 10000 companies email databases placement division coordinators faculty will be making visits to the various companies personally meeting these recruiters having long term relationship and our placement season will start somewhere in september so we are getting ready for that this year out of 395 students more than 200 they opted for marketing 100 160 or so for finance 120 or 30 for operations hr hr and systems systems of course last year it was not there so we are aiming for big companies to visit the campus so that we can increase the pay packet and in order to achieve this we are also training our students right from the day one if you have seen the timetable first semester students there is a three great course on business communications and personality development so this paper is very crucial the students are coming from different backgrounds engineering sciences commerce and they should know how they have to work in industry how to interact with corporates and that course has been specially designed and delivered by talent sprint one of the leading recruiting company in south india so they themselves being recruiters they know what are the expectations of the industry so they teach the students oral communications written communications how to write an email etiquette how to crack a gd how to crack a an interview and in addition to this course we have two great course on business aptitude where they will be teaching the techniques of problem solving is very important that a student solves maximum number of questions in the given time so we at the the day one itself 
we conduct a test for all the students what are their levels of uh, listening skills understanding skills version test that is called as version test so we conduct version test for all the students we record and also what is the time taken for taken by the students for solving various questions so they give feedback a particular student has taken say 10 minutes for a single question we analyze that and tell the students that you should not take so much and in the classroom whatever model question papers were there for tcs deloitte and all such companies so the question papers are discussed in the classroom so they are also used for internal evaluation so many tests are given and we prepare the students for the placements all through the year so in the first year itself they will be having complete understanding about the recruitment process so that they will be ready for placement process so with this continuous inputs we are able to achieve very good uh, inputs in addition to that our director believes that learning is a continuous process and excellence should be a habit not an act keeping that in mind he continuously invites many ceos policy makers who have got 3 to 4 decades of experience and students will have an opportunity to listen to them they try to improve their horizons suppose we call a ceo from an industry he will be give complete picture about his experience what are the challenges everything so ip is the only place where you have so many contact hours with industry captains what we call it as industry institute interface in fact sri mantasab is the head of industry institute interface on a continuous basis we will be inviting industry people not only having these seminars this year our board and our director have given clear instructions to us that whatever seminars we conduct attendance is compulsory and marks are also given for the attendance of the students in these seminars students cannot think that seminar is not within the syllabus right so that is the reason we don't have any non credit courses non credit course means students will not show much interest credit courses like dr rao was explaining percentage of passes how much percentage do you get to pass everything is there so we have made even this personal development aptitude all our credit courses not only that now seminars will become a credit course now every trimester there will be at least two credits for seminars two credits means 40 marks 2 into 20 marks 40 marks they will get and that will be based on your attentiveness in the seminars how you are interacting with the faculty what type of questions you are asking and at the end of the seminar you will be asked to prepare brief report on what you have learnt in this seminar so it is a continuous process learning is a continuous process so we will be preparing students towards 100 percent placements now what we expect is that student should struggle and they should increase their bar they would have got less marks in degree but that is a past when they come here irrespective of their percentage in degree they are treated equal irrespective of their degree background either engineering sciences or commerce all are equal management inputs are given equally to all the people so we give ample opportunities for students to blossom for engineering students we give special inputs in accounting special classes so that they are able to do on par with commerce students for commerce students we give special inputs on quantitative aptitude so that the bridge could be filled so like that we take care of the process of preparation and we maintain continuous contact with the industry so placements is not at all a problem we are looking for more and more companies coming to the campus big companies coming to the campus and our students displaying talent in various activities my colleague uh, professor anjiraju was telling i repeat it ip students have won more than 100 prizes in national competitions they have defeated defeated the iim iit graduates what does this tell this is all because of the faculty time the quality time invested by the faculty in the students student engagement sessions mentoring all these have resulted into students 
getting more and more prizes in quizzes, seminars, research papers. Our institute will conduct at least 10 research conferences. Morning, my, our colleagues were explaining there are center head activities. Each center, research center, will, act, will conduct a research seminar. Students will participate in the seminar. They will pre make presentations in the respective area. Banking students will attend a banking conference. They will present a paper in banking. Retail students will pay, present a paper in retail conference. Like that, course-wise seminars will be held on a regular basis. That's the reason IP is the most happening place. And the people who stay in hostels are the blessed ones because they have so much of time here, library available, faculty available here. They can make wonderful use of this infrastructure and other facilities. So with this uh, brief introduction, anything, uh, Karuna, you would like to say? So we look forward for working very closely with the first year students so that by the time they come to the second year, we'll come with flying colors, with more offers, highest packages and all. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, all. Uh, I have taken uh, charge as a placement coordinator. It is the trust and confidence that my director bestowed upon me. And sir, I assure you that I do my level best. Friends, as I told you in the morning, it is not that what we are going to give you. It is what you are going to deserve and what you are going to dream and what you are going to achieve. So we are here as only facilitators. We help you if you continuously interact with the faculty and let us know what is your dream, what are your qualities, what best you can contribute to the industry and to which sector you are going to contribute. If you can have clarity on these issues and come to us on a regular basis and give us clarity, we all together need to achieve. And don't expect that somebody will come or placement people will take care of placements and we get the companies and give you jobs. No. It is the success of all of us together. Because you are not physical products, you are human products in my hands. So without understanding the strengths or weaknesses or uh, the dreams that you do have, if I don't know, I can't help you out. And when I take you to a particular company, I must be in a position to explain what you are, what is the quality of the students that I do have. So as being a human product, most of the responsibility of placements are lying on you, not on us. Please remember, we just facilitate I will try to match your capabilities with the industry. And we all together need to make our IPE flag soar into the heights in, in industry world. That is what I am expecting from you. Thank you. So good afternoon, friends. Uh, I once again welcome you to IPE. Uh, see, I'm Mahesh. I'm also Joint Placement Coordinator. Uh, I can only tell you one thing apart from what uh, uh, Dean Sir has said and placement coordinator has said. So placements is not a one day process, it is a continuous process. Okay, so from day one, try to focus on what you want to do and uh, try to interact with the faculty, try to interact with your seniors, with your super seniors, with your alumni, and try to understand what industry is expecting. And accordingly, skill your, your talent and try to get into the company that you desire. OK. Uh, that's all as of now. So we'll keep interacting. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, one and all. So apart from what my colleagues have told about uh, placements, I would like to briefly talk about uh, the placement process, how it happens at IPE. So usually, whenever we visit different companies and uh, discuss about placements, talk about our students, how we are unique when compared to other institutes and all. So they get impressed and they try to visit the institute. The moment they decide to visit the institute, we try to collect all the details, basic information from the companies. Like students would want to know what profile the company is wanting to visit, what would be the package, what would be the location, etc. And we in turn share these details to the students. And we do not force any student to apply. Right from the beginning, students will have the 
complete freedom to choose which company they would like to sit, what profile they would like to choose and all. So after collecting the interested student's details, we share it with the company. And later on, we get a shortlist. And here also, Institute maintains complete transparency. We do not do any shortlist. Institute has no role in the shortlisting of the students. So it is completely the prerogative of the uh, company, organization, which company, whichever company is visiting. And this is how it carries. It goes ahead. So we share the interested students' details, shortlists from the company to, with the students. And uh, usually rounds would be aptitude test, group discussion, and different rounds of interviews. So this would be the placement process. And anything else, in, uh, if you have any queries, we'll be here. We'll keep in touch. We'll try to discuss. We'll try to explain more about the details of placements. Thank you. Thanks to the placement team. We would now in introduce you to something called summer internship program. Between the two years that you would spend at IP, you would have one summer. And that one summer, summer is what we try to use for industry interface. We send across our students to have direct industry interaction. And that is the internship program that we try to cater to. Now, I would invite uh, Dr. Janaki Krishna and uh, Mr. A A.S. Kalyan Kumar, the SIP coordinators, to come and uh, give an insights of the program. Dr. P.S. Janaki Krishna is an associate professor at IP. She obtained MSc and PhD from Andhra University, Vishakapatnam. She was awarded with three gold medals in MSc and in the current year awarded Best Teacher by Indian Red Cross Association. She has 25 years of experience in research, teaching, and technology management. She actively worked for management of Netherlands biotechnology program implemented by IP. Her current areas of research interest include sustainable development, weight man uh, waste management, e-agriculture, and PPPs. I would introduce the next, the other backbone of the SIP department, Mr. Kalyan Kumar. He is MTech, MPhil, and is pursuing his PhD in cybersecurity. He has got over 23 years of work experience and has been with IP for the past 10 years, assistant professor and joint coordinator of the SIP division. His areas of interest are experts in uh, cybersecurity, digital marketing, web analytics, e commerce, and ERP software. We welcome you to address the gathering. Sabha and Maha, good afternoon, everybody. Whenever the students want to take admissions in any institute, they'll have a certain set of frequently asked questions, like what's the fee, do we get placements, do we get internships, does inter institute provide internships, or do we have to search ourselves the internships? These are the basic questions students ask. Don't worry, students, we have an SIP division here, and we'll facilitate uh, for getting your internships. And uh, I'm the coordinator for uh, SIP division. And Dr. Kalyan Kumar is the joint coordinator for SIP division. And at the end of the third trimester, during the summer period, you will have two months for organizing this uh, summer research project. And we will be allotting you with the industries. And you will work with the industries for your internship project and you'll work in the domain of your interest. It can be marketing, it can be HR, or it can be finance, or it can be operations. So we do invite uh, companies uh, for taking students for the internships. We also get uh, paid internships. In fact, we have got uh, almost all the paid internships this year, and many companies have come to the campus, uh, like uh, placements, they have conducted the recruitment for SAPs also. And many SIPs will turn, uh, turn up as pre-placement offers. Many of the students, including from Deloitte, they get pre-placement offers. But getting internship is not an easy task. You will have a lot of competitions. You will have about 500 students, and uh, you have to compete amongst yourselves to get these internships. If you want a paid internship, you have to work very hard. You have to learn a lot. Then only you can earn your internship. The process of internship and how many companies have visited our IPE campus and how many have got uh, the paid internships 
and what kind of profiles they have got will be explained by Kalyan. Thank you. All the very best. So I am going to give something introduction about the SIP. Only five W's and only one H. Generally, placements is the ultimate goal. The SIP is starting point. So if you are doing well in SIP phase, definitely you will get the very good placement. So as I told you, what is SIP? Where is SIP? Why is SIP? When is SIP? And how is SIP? So these are the basic questions. So you might be knowing what is SIP. The SIP is nothing but sharing of the experience, sharing of knowledge. You are giving knowledge and uh, the company giving opportunity, the win-win situation. If you are well enough, they will give PPO also, pre-placement offer. So this is what the SIP, summer internship program. Generally, summer internship program will be midst of first year and second year. After completion of the three trimester, in the transition period, two months will be there, May and June. So in uh, May and June, you will be allocating or you will be gaining some SIP internship in various companies. How you will be getting the internship? That will be see later. So this is transition period you are using internship just to do enrich your knowledge. Though, what is the purpose of enriching? Because you might be interested in HR or you might be interested in finance or operations or marketing, whatever it is. So these are the electives or specialization subjects. If you want to settle down in one phase, one stream, you need some exercise. You need some practice phase. That practice is nothing but internship. This internship will be very, very useful. If you are really fit into that stream, you can go ahead and you can find some placement opportunities in the same stream. If you are not fit into, otherwise if your mind is not settling down in that particular phase, there is a gap, there is a time so that you can fine tune, you can change your stream. So this is what the SIP is. The SIP is in the month of May and June. Then where is SIP in all the organization, the private companies or public enterprises, wherever it is, in banking sectors, in pharma sector, all category of companies, they will be giving opportunities to give you the internship. So how you are getting the internship? Just we are approaching the companies, they will be interacting with you, they will scratch your knowledge. If you are fit into, if you are up to their mark, they will give you the opportunity for two months. Generally internship for two months, one month or two months or three months. So these internships, you have to go to their organization, they will treat you just like employees, you can do the internship. So ultimately, why is internship in the sense? They will fine tune you. They will fine tune your knowledge. You will get into the fill in the experience about the organization. So these are all some practical experience. Generally, internships in the two types. One is physically you have to go to the organization. One more thing is online, where also you can do. If you are going to the organization, you will be getting some experience that is very, very interested and very, very enrichable. If you are going for online kind of the thing, anytime you can do that because internship is there, some online portals also is there. You can register on your, on your own. So you can get internship along with the course. You can start your internship today also. So that type of online experiences, online internships also available. These internships, some organization they are paying, some organization giving the experience, they won't pay. So paid and unpaid internships are there. So anything is okay. If you are going for the payment type of the stipend internships, that is good. For example, already we have got 395 students current second years. They have achieved 100% of SIPs, not only one SIP to each students, more than one SIP is already we have achieved for all the students. Majority of the students are doing on their own in the online kind of internships also. So this is nothing but some kind of practical exposure. And who is fit for this internship? If you are a hard worker, if you are very perfect, if you are up to the mark, you are the that appropriate guy. So companies generally they read your mind, read your knowledge, read your caliber. If you are fit, they will be acquired you, they will give you two months of the experiences. At the same time, at the end, they will offer some pre-placement offers also. The pre-placement offer in the sense, 
after completion of the course, directly you can go and join. So this is what the internship process. And uh, how is the internship in IPE? Already we have, I already told you, 100%, more than 100% we given the SIPs to our students. And uh, 60 to 70 companies already visited our campus. They picked up two students, three students, 10 students, 15 students, like that depends upon their requirement. And uh, how to get into the SIP? Very smart, very hard work, and smart work blend is very, very requirement. So generally we'll be speaking about the hard work, comparing with the smart work. Here in SIP, the hard work and smart work, both the, thing are, both the things are very, very important. If you are putting your effort, if you are putting your hard work in the first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester, definitely your CV will be getting higher percentage. They will be looking at that particular column. If the students above 70 or above 80, those students only will be able to sit some certain companies. So put your hard work very sincere way in the first trimester and second, third trimester. That is the key column for your CV. So that only attracts the company to pick you up. The next one is smart work. If you are putting hard work that can be placed in your CV, that CV will do all the works. That CV will bring all the companies to your doorstep, to your company, to your campus. So that is how we are doing this. So this is the only key mantra is the key mantra. The key is nothing but the percentage acquiring in the first, second, third trimester. The mantra is be regular to the classes. If you are be regular to the classes, definitely your knowledge will be enriched. If you are away from the normal class schedule, definitely there won't be given any outcome. So my sincere advice or suggestion is be regular to the classes. The SAP, just like that, it will come to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I now request Mr. Rakesh Vanindra to brief the audience about the IT facilities Mr. Rakesh Vanindra Akula is a MCA MTech CSC pursuing PhD from Usmania University. He has around a decade of teaching and research experience at the Institute of Public Enterprise. He is currently associated with IPE as IT facilitator, convener for ranking and regulatory bodies and also warden for the hostel. His areas of interest include cyber security, cloud computing, software engineering, and web securities, to name a few. He has been extensively conducting training programs in the areas of cyber security and cloud computing. He is certified by Wipro Technologies for high impact teaching skills. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected director, sir, respected dean, sir, my dear faculty colleagues, and parents and students. Uh, so IP is having a, a strong uh, in networking connection and also a gigabyte fiber network, which supports uh, more than 1,000 nodes at a time. So IP is having a state-of-art uh, technologies uh, where we are providing a different types of network like with the Wi-Fi and wi uh, LAN connections. So next. And comes to uh, when it comes to uh, support and facilities, we are providing 240 Mbps internet connection for each and every students in the campus. When it comes to hostel students, we are providing LAN connection and also Wi-Fi connection in the, both the campuses. So within a one week, we are going to complete the Wi-Fi process and we are going to provide a Wi-Fi in the both the hostels. As of now, we are providing in the boys' hostel. But when it comes to LAN connection, every room is connected with a LAN network. And each node is connected with 240 Mbps of connect, uh, internet speed. And when it comes to laptops, Vikram. So this, this year, we are giving a HP laptop with the specifications and model. So we have model is HP 240G5. And the processor is Core i3 processor with 2 gigahertz speed and 4 GB RAM with the Linux OS. And hardware, when it comes to storage point of view, we are giving 500 GB of storage. And also, uh, it supports 
gigabyte Ethernet. And when it comes to the networking point of view, for each and every student, each and every student, we are providing email account, which email account contains a 250 GB of space. Okay? And you can also use it as a Google Drive support account, where we are taking a support from the Google Suite, okay? and where you can send multiple number of mails per day. Like, you can send 1,500 mails per day. So throughout the year, you can send around uh, more than a four to five crores of mails on the same single uh, domain account. So each and every student is having this facility. You can utilize this facility, and you can share the documents through cloud. So as per our director's vision and uh, mission, so we, are, we want to see our IP campus as a digital campus. So we are also providing mycampuses.com as a digital uh, platform where you can send your service requests or complaints through online. And each and every student is, is going to have an account with their rule number and there will be a password that will be generated. That password can be recovered by your uh, email ID. And through that, you can apply the leaves. And it can also, you're also going to get an SMS or mail alerts and also your attendance report through that. You can have a group chat and you can, all the e-learning resources will be shared through that. And when it comes to the internet point of view, we are taking support from the Railtel services. And also this year, we have started a parallel service. We are every student or every user who comes to the IPE, for them, they are going to get a service through Reliance Geo. So Reliance Geo has started the inbuilt solutions through all the campuses all over India. So now, if any student or any user enters the campus, for them, there will be 600 MB of uh, data will be provided. This service will be started from first first week of August. Okay, and also uh, when it comes to the firewall point of view, every network is under firewall monitoring. And, and if so, any website is blocked or anything, so you can send us a mail so that I can provide you and can unblock the website as per your requirement. But as per the government norms, we are blocking the website, some of the websites. So remaining all educational websites, all YouTube, anything will be open throughout the day, throughout the 365 days. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we request Dr. C.H. Lakshmi Kumari and Dr. Anand Kumar to brief about the library facilities available at the institute. Dr. C.H. Lakshmi Kumari is Assistant Professor in Economics at Institute of Public Enterprise and Coordinator Knowledge Resource Center. She has been associated with the institution in various activities like teaching, training, research, and consult consultancy assignments. She worked for several national and international research studies and published prolifically. Her areas of interest include economics, public enterprises management, disinvestment, restructuring and turnaround management, financial performance analysis, venture capital, and environmental impact analysis. Dr. Anand Kumar is BE, MBA, and PhD. He has over 19 years of teaching experience. He has participated and presented many papers in national national conferences. He is uh, the chairman of the Knowledge Center and his areas of interest are related to marketing and quantitative techniques. We request them to please address the gathering. A very good afternoon to all the parents, students, and my dear faculty colleagues. I am, I'll just brief you about the facilities that we'll provide in the Knowledge Research Center, that is library. And I can explain you more if all the students come to library and make use of the library to the 100% extent. Because why I'm saying this is most of the students, we have a library period also in your timetable. And I expect that all the students please make use of the library instead of spending most of the, your time in food court and in the campus. Sorry to say this but you can have a very good discussions in the library and we have a lot of facilities coming to the facilities in the library especially we have 50,000 more than 50,000 collection of books in the library in the man in various disciplines of management and apart from the management books 
we have collection government of india publication collections we have various statistical reports like economic survey we have we have controller and auditor general of india reports and we have lok sabha and raj sabha debates also that library is having because we provide our collection our aim is to help even the phd research students that's why we have a huge collection of books aiming at the phd research issues for the students and apart from the books offline we have offline journals also printed journals we have more than 100 national and international journals that comes to library and along with this we have very important online databases we have where we will provide the passwords to the students students can come and use in the library we have various 10 to 12 systems are available in the library We, our library staff will help you if you have any problem in accessing the databases so library is open from morning 8 to evening 9 even after classes also you can come to library and our staff mr bikshapati we have uh, rangareddy and we have their balraju and badruddin these are the library staff they will be available even after uh, college hours you can make use of and i am available in the library and i go to classes come for teaching and whenever i am in the library i will help you in accessing and in providing facilities whatever help you require you can approach me and my colleague anand kumar will brief some more issues on the library a very good afternoon friends uh, it's my privilege i mean i'll touch upon those issues which are missed out by my colleague lakshmi uh as lakshmi was saying that uh, we have good number of print journals and also online journals believe me you rarely come across the library like us we spend nearly 20 lakhs on online databases you have access to more than 10000 journals if you want to make use of it if you want to shape your career there cannot be any better library than ipe library i'm not boosting it you can check for yourself then uh as far as the operational things are concerned as ours is a research institute over the years we have a good collection varied collections variety of collections which was not the case with many of the b schools generally what happens is when it is catering only to the needs of b school they'll have good number of limited titles whereas we have limited number of more titles that's how our library is distinguished from the other libraries right uh, the other operational issue i would like to touch upon is as we wanted the books to be shared books to be used by all you people we have a system of sending a reminder to the students as and when the due date is there that is what is missed out by our friend lakshmi garu and then as we would like to provide more knowledge resource to the students we have associations with good number of libraries that is british library we have association we have also have a tie up with uh, indian school of business and we also have a uh, tie up with other libraries usmania university jnt and other those places we have a tie up as and when you require any article as and when you require uh, any subject area related matter you can approach us as we have we are into consortium of libraries and all we could able to get the required uh, information for you then uh, as far as we also provide memberships for phd scholars we also provide member corporate memberships are there uh, as we could have good number of corporate memberships and then uh, research scholars are associated with us that speaks about the worth of the library uh, at the end of it i would like to invite all you people to come and visit the library and make use of your two years of stay with us as a a long term learning experience and try to shape your career make your career with the help of library thank you very much
Thank you, sir. And lastly, I would like to call uh, Professor Nageshwara Garu. He is general manager. He was the general manager of Andhra Bank, and he has uh, he's an eminent professor and his almost three decades of work experience and has been associated with IP since the commencement of the PGDM IB batch. Respected Misra ji and my colleague Srinivas Murthy and other faculty and parents and children. It is a great day for us. Again, I was associated with IPE from the last four years, but I know the IPE from the construction of the building in the 1970s. Usman University building was constructed. From the first brick onwards, I know how IPE has grown. Today, IPE has grown leaps and bounds. Today, we are having a 600, 450 to 600 students are there. It's a great achievement. Mr. Mishra is a Facebook of IPE. I know how he has transformed the organization from the grassroots level to such high level. It's a great achievement. It's not a small thing. All the MBA students should learn how a man can turn things in a different way. He's embodiment of management and you know he is sitting before you. You have learned management principles from him because he talks to the top man to the lowest man in the same way with a lot of humility. All the MBA students have to learn how to be humility, they must maintain how humble they should be, how they should come up in life. Say so I am a banker for 40 years. 40 years of banking, I came for teaching. So IP is a blend of regular faculty versus visiting faculty. So that the visiting faculty advantage is a lot of experience we will share with you. At the same time, the experts taught a lot of knowledge there in this institution. So why day by day the students are increasing? The reason is because it can deliver the goods. Therefore, all the students should understand when they, are, when they join the MBA, they are very humble. But over a period of time, they change their attitudes. In the process, they lose their prominence. What is important is, on the day from joining here, till you go, you must be more learning, you must be more skillful, you will unlearn and learn new things. Because the world is changing. Car, suppose take car manufacturing. In the next five years, most of the car industry will be closed. New type of cars are coming. Suppose you take Tesla in USA. There is no engine. No, you can keep luggage in the front, you can keep in luggage in the back. It can come, you can open the door from Hyderabad also. When the car is in US, you can open the door from Hyderabad also. You can run the car from Hyderabad also. Such innovations are taking place. Hi-Fi, now we are, we are using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is going, Li-Fi is coming. The world is changing so fast. Unless you innovate yourself, I tell IPE, IPE does not mean Institute of Public Enterprise alone. You must be innovative, you must be productive, you must be enthusiastic and energetic. Then only you can survive in the days to come. Because things are changing so fast, you will not be successful unless you change according to situations. What is important? Whether well, I am 40 years of banking experience, I am talking to you. You would have seen banking, how much it has changed. Today, palm banking, everything over mobile. Once upon a time, we used to go and stand hours together in the banking. In the days to come, bank buildings will not be there. Banking will be, even vegetable vendor will become banker, or mobile phone will become banker. And you would have seen Airtel banking, payment banks, small banks. They don't have buildings, but they are all banks. The future will be tough unless the MBA students understand change. First of all, apart from studying MBA, you have to change your body language, your communication skills, your walking and talking, everything you have to change. Because once upon a time, Air India was there. It's a mother India. Today, all private airlines are Miss India. All are very smart, young. 
all previously those darshan was there is a mother 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 darshan today all miss india all new channels are miss india unless you change your approach your style of walking your style of dressing style of communicating you will become irrelevant so in last 4 years i have been observing so many students have come from north south all over the places i find the due apologies to south north indians are very dynamic aggressive and very adaptability south indians very knowledgeable but unfortunately they don't change the situations unless they change their body language unless they change their communication skills in the job job market you will become day by day you become irrelevant future job market is challenging there will not be any pension only tension all the public sector no recruitment in public sector all recruitment will be private sector only even air india which is only public sector they want to privatize the day by day privatization will take place more and more therefore my humble request to you unless you are very adaptive active you will be irrelevant and your jobs will be at stake therefore my humble request to every student be careful that your father and mother spent so much huge money and they paid to ipe to admit you so i see i talked to cross section of people today there are so many poor families they have come they are working as a drivers they are working as a farmers they are working as a clerks but they admit their children in such a big institution paying huge amount please understand when they paid taking a loan everywhere and admitted you here you have to make use of this two year stay productive and dynamic and what i said ipe innovative productive and enterprising if these three qualities you develop i am very confident that will come up and i admit i advise the parents also to see their sons and their daughters study regularly financial papers they see financial channels to innovate themselves reading regular newspaper is no use because ipe provide lot of financial papers they got a built library all of you make use of it see i am 40 years old banker but today i keep myself up to date otherwise i can't teach students unless i give latest knowledge unless i talk latest statistics i become irrelevant suppose i talk 40 years bank 40 years before bank nobody listens to me i must be up to date i must be active then only i can convince you i can make you successful therefore my humble appeal to all the parents see your child comes regularly he studies regularly see don't think that only studying number of books you will come up in life no unless you are market oriented you gain market knowledge you will be irrelevant you must be very dynamic very productive this is my humble request to all the parents and students with this i thank all of you for making fortunately i am the last speaker advantage i have only few audience therefore my humble request to all of you you all lot of patience you are still till last moment that shows the parents are very sincere about their children to come up with these few words i thank misra ji who is building such a fine institution and i hope and his dynamic he is not only a local local man he is a international man and national man that's why for 40 years almost four decades i have been seeing him is continuing his institution because of his great ability to take the organization to commanding heights thank you thank you sir they say all that ends well is all well i would thank our director our uh, dean professor mantha professor nageshwar rao dr emilan rao dr anji raju and all the dignitaries on dais parents students for being a part of our first day of the orientation program i thank you all hope you had a nice day at ip and hope the beginning is was a good one thank you so much once again have a